Hi everyone, welcome you all in TDRP. In this quick video, we are going to talk about solutions for our Terraform projects. In this video, I am going to share with you the step by step guide which can help you to implement the same in your environment. So, what you need to implement those solutions, you need an AWS account because we are going to provision resources in AWS cloud directly and you need terraform from where you need to install i'll mention the link for that one and you need to configure your aws credentials okay so you need to uh, make sure to explicitly include the aws provider because we are going to provision resources from aws cloud so we need to define that aws as a provider and uh, we will manage uh, means the states of all your environment in terraform files so how it will be so first let's see which are the project we are going to cover the first project we will talk about where we will create or we can we will deploy a static website in our s3 bucket so you require uh, uh, your requirement is is deploy a simple static website on aws so for that one you need to use s3 bucket you need to configure s3 bucket and uh, optionally for higher latency for your end user you can sorry low latency for your end user you can use cloud right that is just optional but uh, we will see how we can configure so everything i have already documented so oh, so you can follow the same guy next uh, project we are going to talk about where we will create secure vpc environment means virtual private cloud environment so we will understand what we need to how we can define our vpc how we can define our subnets like public subnet private subnet for high availability then we will associate those uh, subnet as well and we will also create internet gateway net gateway and then we will see how we can control the traffic through the security group next project is about uh, provision and configure a single ec2 instance to run a basic web server so uh, like your virtual machine which will be ec2 server and on that one we will host our uh, website that will behave as a web server and how we will access it and for that one we required a um, amazon machine image that is ami uh, that is the image for our ec2 instance then we will uh, launch that ec2 instance and we will make sure that ec2 instance will be created under the vpc which we created in private cloud um, private cloud uh, in project 2 and uh, then we will need to provision any necessary security group if needed and then we will utilize user data script to install web server server software okay so these are the three projects we are going to cover today corona so as we already know about the project now we know the requirement we understood the summary of that project what it is looking for now let's see step by step so here i'll share the links in the description box so for the first project where we need to do let's see the steps what we need to follow first we need to understand what exact requirement we are having means the we need to understand prerequisite before starting our project so first we need to set up our project we need to create the folders where our project will be hosted uh, then we will create the s3 bucket for website hosting then we will deploy that one we will create the website files then we will apply the terraform configuration and in the last we will test our website in the last two steps is about optional where we will configure CloudFront distribution and we will access website through the CloudFront. So this is how we will uh, start for the first project. When we are talking about the prerequisite, you ha should have active AWS account. You need to configure that AWS command line interface. You can use it and configure it from here. Then you need to download and install Terraform. Okay then you can use one text editor where you will write your code that will help us to create those files for terraform first steps as i mentioned we will create a folder for our project so we can use mkdir static website project and then we will go inside that particular folder so whatever command we will run we will run under this folder itself so inside the directory we will create a 
this file this is dot tf is for terraform file main file is where we define everything okay so now in our main dot tf file we need to first define the provider what is this provider here it is aws because we are using aws cloud for provisioning resources in which region it will be we need to define that then we will use the resources which is needed for our website so first we need s3 bucket we will provide the s3 bucket name here okay it should be unique name and then we will see uh, what type of access it should be like we are talking about the website hosting it should be access through the public internet that's why it's a public read okay then we are defining index page of our website here next here i explain what we have done what i explained here next task is we need to deploy the s3 bucket okay so we have defined everything here now we need to initialize the terraform before applying any changes we need to initialize our terraform then we we can use this command terraform plan to see in advance what are the changes will happen when we will click on or run our apply command so it will help us to understand okay this will be created this will be removed everything whatever action will be taken through our code it will uh, show us that thing in the last we will apply that one once it is applied we are done then we will create our website files so as we know that index.html we will define the content of our website and then we will upload that file through this s3 web okay we will use aws cli here and we will run this command in the last again we will run terraform apply after plan we will do apply and then we will test our website the name of that our website will be like uh, our unique bucket name which we defined then followed by region and then aws amazon aws.com so this will be your website link that you need to test it now we need, we are going to see how we can define cloud front in as a optional so, so here you can define this as a resource we are using cloud front and this will be our name and we will provide this domain name and original id uh, after apply we uh, how we will get the url of our link through the cloud front for that one you need to go to aws cloud front console in that one you will get the link for that so this is how we can use it and uh, you need to see these names which is given here are just sample names you need to replace that with your specific name and for any doubt you are having you can follow this terraform documentation ring. so this is how you can implement your first project let's see the second project i'll go quickly here we are going to create secure vpc environment so in the first step we need to create the project folder like we did earlier then we need to initialize that we can do it and then we will uh, provide define the provider here our aws then we will create the resources the similar pattern the uh, this uh, these files uh, means the syntax of those code are very simple it is self explanatory but uh, just try to understand the more and more you will do you will understand more the after creating this vpc okay see uh, i just uh, these two things i have combined in the final it will look like this one and then we will create the subnets like here you can see public subnet we define two public subnet public subnet a public subnet b for high availability similarly for private subnet we are using why we need those because we want internet connectivity then we need private subnet when we need net gateway connectivity we need private subnet sorry for internet connectivity we need public subnet so this is how we will create the internet gateway and net gateway then we will define the root table after defining root table we will associate those subnets with the respective root table in the last we will go through and we will define the security groups here okay we will allow http on port 80 for our website so this is the way we will define it for ingress traffic we will define for egress also we will define 
egress is outbound traffic ingress is inbound traffic in the last we will apply once we will apply then project will be completed and then now we will see the third project okay so for this one we will create the easy to behave server these are similar kind of project but uh, these are simple mini project that you can define and within 15 minutes you can configure those so it will give you more hands on experience so here in the first project uh, first step always start with the creating our file new directory we will create we will provide the name then we will go inside that folder and we will create our main.tf file in that one we will provide the provider name then we will create uh, define our resources our resources either it is ec2 or vpc whatever in your project you need to define it then accordingly you need to define your security group here you need to choose the uh, ami id okay that you will get it from the aws here it is defined the a ami id for your ec2 instances that will define and the instance size it is t2.micro which subnet id it need to be and the last there are three simple steps initialization plan and apply once it is done you can test it but you after see right now you are using aws cloud so make sure you clean everything after your experiment because though you are not aware which resource will consume your money so it's better to clean up once you are done so these are the few things uh, so i'll share the links of all three projects in the description just go through them step by step just mention if you get stuck anywhere i'll be happy to help you see you in next video with more learning resources till then bye bye